Okay, hi guys. How you doing? Well, maybe I'll tell you a little story. <clears throat> when Bubba was little. Not little, but I was kind of big too. You know, um, when I was in high school, we moved to the farm in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Punxsutawney, you know, in February, they always have it on the news and all around about the groundhog. Well, that's where they always talk about Punxsutawney and the groundhog. Well, we lived up on a farm. And my Grandpa Smith lived there also. And Grandpa Smith was my mother's dad. He was a good old man. On the farm, he plowed with the horses all the time. He didn't like tractors. Grandma gets a, mother gets a little sentimental when she tells stories. But that's okay. Uh, he didn't like a tractor to drive, and we did have a tractor because my uncle, which was my mother's brother, he would drive the tractor, and my dad would drive the tractor also. But Grandpa liked the horses, and he had a team of horses, and you know, he was pretty old too. When he was like in his 70s, he would be plowing out in the fields, walking behind the horses. Now, you know how you, how you see them today on the tractors? Except the Amish. The Amish do use the tractor, I mean, use the horses. When you see the Amish working out in the farm, out in the fields, that's the way my grandfather was. He liked to plow, and it was hot. It would be like 80 degrees, and he'd be out there plowing with the horses. But anyway, a lot of times, we had a lot of family reunions, and my grandpa came from a, a big family, trying to remember how many was in the family. Right now, I'd have to look it up. But he had a couple sisters, and he had a lot of brothers. And uh, I knew, I remember a few of them. And so we would have, in my grandfather's birthday was in September, like mine's in September. Well, my grandpa's birthday was September the 16th, and mine is the 18th. So when I was young, I used to say, Grandpa's two days older than me. Well, you know, he was a lot older than that, but I didn't know the difference when I was little. But anyway, when I was in high school, and even before that, we the families would get together, and we'd get together on the farm. And we'd have picnics. We would have tables set up outside so we could eat outside because it was always nice out, you know, when we would have them. And my great uncles would come, and then I had... My mother also had two brothers, and the one brother lived a little further away from us because... My, her one brother, my uncle Lester, also lived in the house where we lived because it was a big old farmhouse. There were five bedrooms in that house. And you know, that house, we didn't have an outside toilet like we did when I grew up in a mining town. We had a bathroom. We didn't have a tub, but we had the commode, which was really nice to have. So anyway, they would all come and we'd have a big party. And it was so nice because we got to know, I got to know my great uncles also. So it was always a fun time. We had a lot of fun, us kids. I don't remember what all we used to do. I think we used to pitch horseshoes a lot. I think that was one of the things that was a big thing then, was pitching horseshoes. And uh, that was always fun. And playing croquet. I think you know, maybe some of you, you know what croquet is. Oh, your mommies and daddies know what it is. And if you don't know what it is, you ask them and they'll explain it to you. Because you have a... You hit the ball around and try to go through it like a, looks like a little fence. That was always fun. We always used to do that. That was two of the bigger things. And I, if I remember, I think us kids used to play ball a little bit, softball. And, but it was always fun on the farm because we could go out to the barn. And, uh, you know, the team of horses would be out there. And we had, I think, one cow. But my uncle Lester, he used to milk the cow. And, and Grandma did, too. My mother did, too. My mother would milk the cow. And you know what? I knew how to milk the cow, too. I didn't do that all the time because I had to go to school. But in the evening, you know, they milk the cows twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. But you had to milk them by hand. And today, they have machines that milk the cows. So it's much easier today than it was when Bubba was little. But it was always a fun time, you know, in the hay mow, and you would be playing. You had to be careful because it was kind of dangerous in a way because you would get up real high in a hay pow, in the hay pow, and you'd be jumping. You know, you could fall real easy. And they had, uh, 
bins. You know, they had big places, like, it was made with wood, but it would be like a box. And when you uh, have, you have like oats, oats is grown on the farm. And we used to go and eat that oats right out of that box because we liked that. It was chewy. It was like having nuts. So it was a fun time. And then milking the cows, you know, that was always fun to watch. And they'd be feeding the cows. And it was just a good time. I think you guys, you would enjoy, probably enjoy living on a farm for a little while. But you're out the country then, you know. You don't have a lot of people around you. And then, of course, you go to school on a bus. Now, I think you'd like that. You would like going to school on a bus. That was fun to do that. But you had to listen on the bus, too. You couldn't just play around and be funny on a bus. You had to be good. Because if you weren't good and your parents found out you were bad, you were in trouble. So you know how that is when you get in trouble. I'm sure you get in trouble once in a while when you're not playing nice. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you that little story, how much fun it was having family reunions. Remember when you came up for Bubba's party and how we had the family together? Well, that's how we would do, like with my aunts and uncles and my cousins. We did that, too, a lot of times. It was, especially on a farm, it's always, it's, somebody used to say funner. That's, that's not a word, but they would say it's funner. I think you'd like that. You'd, li you'd like the way Bubba talks because she, she says things a little different sometimes. But that's okay. You'll always remember that. I hope you enjoyed that little story. I just thought I'd tell you about my grandpa. See, I remember my grandpa. So you'll be remembering your grandpas and your grandmas and your bubbas and your great-grandmas and your uncles and aunts. So it's always fun when you get older and talk about all the good memories you had visiting with them. It's always a fun time to have that. So... Enjoy the rest of the summer. Big pumpkin's going to be coming pretty soon, so look out in the haunted house. Are you going to the haunted house where they have ghosts? Ooh, ooh. I hope you'll like that. Maybe you'll have some pumpkin pie. Ooh, that's pretty good too, that pumpkin pie. Ask your mother if she'll make some pumpkin pie for you. It almost tastes like sweet potatoes, so you would like it, I bet. Anyway, hey, that's enough for today, guys. How do you like my friend over here? Hmm? You like my friend Duke? Look at Duke. See him, good boy? He's looking at Dan. He's trying to listen to Dan, but I think he wants to sleep now. I think he's tired of Bubba talking. I'll talk to you. See you guys. Love y'all. You all.